So in biblical times, right, when a king went to war, if he conquered the nation, right, the a piece of the robe of the defeated king's robe, right, will be cut off and then sewn into the victorious king's robe, right? So the more nations he conquered, the longer the train of his robe was because he was carrying the bodies of all these nations and kings that he had conquered. So when you saw your king out there in the parades and his robe was really long, his train was really long, you knew your king was that guy. You knew your king was just victorious in battle. So why am I saying this? In Isaiah chapter six, verse one, Isaiah writes that he was lifted to the throne and he saw God high and lifted up in the throne. And he says that his train filled the temple. If you don't know the tradition of the Bible, you're like, ah, God's wearing a really long train. You know, he's that guy. But when you know the tradition of the Bible, you find that what this is saying is that you have a God, right? who's never lost a battle, a God whose train literally fills the entire temple. That means he has the bodies of everything he's conquered. And as I, as I read that and as I think about that, I think about the fact that sometimes we pray to God not knowing the type of God that we're praying to. Imagine going before such a king and being like, are you sure you're ready for battle? And his train is just that long? It'd be audacious of you, but we pray to God and we're timid and we're not sure if he can handle our small little problems, yet his train fills the temple. And as I was sitting there uh, reading and listening to this passage, I was reminded that we must, a bold, uh, we must approach the throne of God boldly, knowing that we have a God who is capable, a God who is, has never known um, defeat, a God who wants us to know that same kind of victory in our lives, and a God who loves us and is on our side, and his train literally fills the temple. Um, I thought that was exciting, and I was really glad to hear that in church this morning, that I would share and be blessed and pray boldly.